Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to learn how to make these awesome badge buddies and badge reels with sublimation. So stick around. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Angela Flip and Flutter Creations. And today I'm here to bring you another sublimation tutorial, this time on how to make a badge reel, a badge reel, and a badge buddy set. So these are using white acrylic blanks that I got from Zindi, which I will link down below. We are going to sublimate them, and then I'm going to show you how to put them together with your badge, and that way you can clip it on and you have your little badge buddy with your badge reel. So I have a matching set I am making. It's this like purple, sparkly, it's, it's going to match everything I have in my office. And I'm just doing a plain circle for my badge reel design. And then I am going to do two different versions for my badge buddy. Now the badge buddies are a lot thinner. So here is a standard acrylic piece. It is a lot thicker as you can see than the badge buddy. The badge buddy is made of a lightweight acrylic. So far I've already done it once and I melted it. So we are gonna try a couple different things. So we're gonna start out doing the circle and we're going to do the circle at 385. Instead of 60 seconds, we're gonna try 45 because I did make one last time and the 60 seconds kind of burnt it just a tad. So I am going to try it just 45 instead of 60 seconds. When we are done with the circle, we are going to put it under something heavy to help make sure that it doesn't bow or bend. It will be kind of flexible when we take it off the press. So we need to keep it somewhere flat and keep it with some pressure on top of it until it cools down. Now, I am gonna take off both sides of the brown backing. I did not do that when I made those cute look what so-and-so made magnets. And I've since learned that one of the reasons why you want to take it off is because when the acrylic is soft, when it's sublimating, the brown paper tends to kind of curl up and when it curls it can affect the other side what the design looks like so we are going to take the other side off i'm leaving the back side blank because it's going to be the part that's attached to the badge reel so it doesn't need anything on the back side so we're just going to line it up on one of the sides of the circle Make sure I always do my designs a little extra on the outside to make sure that there is nothing white left there. So I'm going to just take this to the badge buddy, like so. I mean, yeah, to the badge buddy circle, like so. Make sure that it's tight so that it doesn't ghost. I don't want any ghosting. Actually, I got that one a little too tight there we go okay and then it's gonna go face up between I'm not even gonna face this much butcher paper so it's gonna go face up um, I think I'm gonna take the paper down just to try and make it a little bit tighter I try not to get the tape on the actual design itself because I have had where it you can just see the lines from the tape because of the pressure i am trying to use light pressure you want light to medium pressure and i'm just going to fold this over so you've got a piece of butcher on the top and the bottom and like i said we're going to do it for 385 and we're, we're going to stop at about 15 seconds because that'll make it 45 seconds just to see if that helps with the the brown that you get when you get brown on a on a sublimation product it means that that has burnt if you've got green on it means that it hasn't cooked long enough so we can always test it and see if it is done enough rather than overdone we can't fix it once it's overdone get this ready to go so we can stick that right underneath here when we're done now on the badge buddy we are going to have to, we're going to lift up gently, make sure it's not stuck, because if it sticks when you pull it up, it can potentially 
make your item ghost, but I think I taped it pretty good to the thing. So I'm just gonna try to lift up a little piece of this and see oh, if it's dark enough. And I think it is. I think that's perfect. I'm gonna leave it on there so that it can, well, actually, let's see if we can get it off without bending it. There we go. That's beautiful. And it will have a little bit of white residue that we can get off with soap and water once it has cooled down. So we're gonna put that underneath there and let that stay nice and flat. Okay, now that we've done that part, let's take this off. We are gonna do the same thing now for the badge buddy. However, like I said, this is a lot thinner. So we may end up having to try again. My plan is to do both sides, just so I can decide which side I want to use. I made one that says Dean and one that says Student Services Manager. I couldn't decide which one I wanted to do, and this gives me the chance to try both of them out. And the designs come with, well, at least the template comes with any of the acrylics that you purchased from Zindi, so that's really nice. The white acrylic pieces, if they already offer a, an acrylic shape in white, those are the ones that are the easiest to supplement. You can supplement the clear, but I think the whites are easiest. If they don't have a white in a shape, you can actually request it, but you have to order 20 pieces. So this we want to be really careful with because like I said last time I did melt one. I don't think I have it out here anymore, but I did melt it when I did 385 for 60. So we're going to try the 385 for 45 like we just did with the circle and see if that's a little better. And then it will have to cool down before we attempt to do the back. And if we end up having to do, and again, I'm just taping around the edges, but trying not to actually get it on the design itself so that I don't have any of those markings on there. Just want to tape it down. I'm going to try not to tape it to the acrylic this time like I did the other one. That way it's a little easier to get it off. So I'd rather just tape it to the paper. And then I'm going to, and then I'm going to fold it over. Oh, okay. And we're going to see how this goes. Put that a little more in the middle. And I'm going to watch the time because I didn't change my time. I have it set for 60. We're gonna let it get down to 45. That was light pressure on this instead of medium to light because it is a little bit thinner than the circle was. The circle is mostly cooled, not all the way, but I do wanna stick the badge buddy under there, so I'm not gonna be able to. Maybe I'll put it under my cup. I don't know if that'll do it, but Let's see if we can ha, ha, try that out. That way we have this ready to go because this one is gonna be probably a lot more flimsy, again, because it's the thinner acrylic. And there we go. Oh, I forgot my gloves. Let's get those on real quick. And let's see if we can't peek at this and see if it looks like it's done enough. Oh, pretty. Okay, but I don't know if it's done enough it's definitely, see it's too light. So, oh, I think I moved that. Shoot. Well, I think I moved it. Hot, hot. If I hadn't pulled that tape all the way up, we're gonna try to just put it on a little bit more. I may have moved it though, so it's probably gonna ghost on me, but we're gonna try and see. Um, and maybe it's that it doesn't have enough pressure, actually. We'll do just a little bit more, just enough to where it takes a little pop down. And we'll try just 15 to 20 more seconds. Um, I don't want to do too much because I don't want it to burn or melt. Okay, so there's 15, which is slightly more pressure. Again, it may have ghosted because I think I moved it. Oh, that's much better. Uh, yeah, it ghosted. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get a second one and it's definitely very flimsy and very light. 
and very, very flimsy. So that's one that you're gonna need it under something heavy so that it stays flat. So we're gonna do a second one and we're just gonna try out another time and temp. Um, I think that definitely worked a little bit better once I had a little bit more pressure, but it is super, super flimsy. So we tried a second one at 385 for like almost a minute and a half total maybe by the time I pressed it several different times it did get brown which means it went too dark um, so what I'm gonna do is I am going to do we're gonna compromise in the middle I'm bound and determined to get this right I have printed it several times and I brought a couple of them out here with me so I probably wasted quite a few of these already I think this is my fourth attempt no, this is, yes, this is my fourth attempt already. So we're gonna peel off that. And I've got a couple different temps and times to try and we're gonna get this right. So, and I know once I get it, it'll be great because I've got it. It's just a matter of getting it. So let me get that put down. I'm gonna try the tape without it getting on the design but enough where I can lift up and I'm gonna make it where I can lift in this corner because that's the oh did I just do what I think I just did you guys wow I forgot to peel the second piece off so let's try that again you what I can already feel it starting to get soft from that heat okay so we want both sides off again let's try that again Pretty easy to line it up because I've made it just slightly larger than the item. There we go. Okay. where I can peel up once I have my gloves on. I'm gonna go fold that. And we're gonna go to 45 seconds. Actually, I think we're gonna do 30. Lift up, C, and 30. Just to kind of give it a break. I think that's what I said we were gonna try this time. 385, 30, lift up 30. Maybe 30 or 45, so. We're gonna test it out. We don't want it to get brown. Once it gets brown, it's burnt. So we definitely wanna try keeping this nicer purple color and not the brown color. So, we, ah, so we're at our 30 seconds. Let's lift that up. It's probably not done yet, but we are just going to check. I'm holding it down so it doesn't move. Oh, it's actually a beautiful purple color there. Hot. I'm going to look in this corner. Okay. Uh, that's actually pretty, pretty, pretty. I don't know if I should do it again. 30 seconds doesn't seem like a lot. Let's look at some more of that. I think I might stop. I think I'm gonna stop, guys. It does have a lot of the paper residue, but that is because I have my pressure higher. I have found that the higher the pressure, the deeper the colors get. Look how much better those colors are. And that paper residue will come off. So we just need to make this heavy, make sure that it stays cooled. Wow. Okay, so maybe we were, look at that. You can even see how much more of the ink it took off. 385 for 30 seconds with actually a, a medium pressure. 
and that seemed to work. I wonder if it's because I did move it back a little bit more on my press. So maybe it was getting a little more pressure, even more so than it was near the front. Um, I'm not really sure that's interesting. So we will see, we're gonna let this cool down. I think I'm gonna try the back. I'm almost tempted to try one of the ones that didn't come out good on the back first and see if it comes out. It does make sure it doesn't mess up the front because this is so thin. If it doesn't look like it's going to do well, I may just not do the back because it's going to be facing me anyway. And so, you know, you don't have to have the back done, but it could be nice for a customer who maybe wants to be able to swap it back and forth, use it for different things. Maybe it's, somebody who works for a school and they work at two different schools. It could be neat to have one that's one school, one that's the other, or maybe they work in two different departments at a hospital and they want to flip it back and forth depending on which department they're working in. So there's really neat ways that you can use the two-sided ones, but if it's going to mess up this, this light acrylic, then we don't want to do that. Now, most people with the badge buddies and even the badge reels, they do vinyl, or printable vinyl and they and glitter and they cover it with UV resin or epoxy. I am really trying to get away from epoxy usage um, and resin usage so I really want to do more with just sublimation and that's why you'll see that a lot of my tutorials right now are more sublimation based and not using epoxy or resin. But these can be really cute using glitter and epoxy and stuff like that. But I'm bound to determine to make it work with sublimation because I think these would make really great gifts. I, I'm a teacher myself. I'm a dean right now at a school and everybody has to wear that. It's required by our county. So everybody has to wear one and I think these would be really neat to have school spirit or show off whatever grade level you're in. This came out really good. I can't wait to go wash this in warm soapy water. It's still a little bit fragile. So I think what I'm going to do real quick is I'm just going to test out the back of one of these and I'm going to use the student services manager one, not the dean. That way I have both sides. I couldn't decide what I wanted it to be, Dean or Student Services Manager. So I made one of both. And so we're just gonna see how this does doing the back, if it really does like kind of mess it up or if it's just too much for the acrylic to handle. So I'm just gonna do one of these and we're gonna try that 385 for 30 seconds again and see how that goes. And I'm not really worried about the marks right now because, wait, we wanna check that end. Okay, hold this over. And I'm gonna push it toward the back again. I don't know, I just feel like that really did something. And let's see how that goes. And then I have another one. I printed a whole page this time to see if we could get it right. That was my plan. Um, I like getting to learn with you guys. I know sometimes you're probably thinking, this lady hasn't even done this before. What is she doing? But I like to kind of learn with you so you can see some of the errors that I make and see that if you're making those errors, this is why, this is how we fix it, that sort of thing. So hopefully you guys don't mind that, but thanks for learning with me. Get my glove. And let's see how that turned out. That's not done, but it also looks burnt, so that's interesting. Actually, I can't tell. Right. You can see that corner doesn't even look done at all. I can't tell if it's blue, if it's brown or green. So we're just gonna do like 10 more seconds. Oh, it went all the way up to 390. My temp went up. Ooh. Let's see. There we go. That's good. There we go. And again, it's super, super flimsy, but let's see. Oh, huh. it actually almost looks like it colored the other side a little bit more. So yeah, I think that came out actually pretty good. So let's see, we might go ahead and try the back of this one and then I can show you guys how to put these together.
Okay, so when you're doing the back, the big thing to remember is make sure that you have these facing the same direction. So whatever your design is so that it makes sense. So we're just gonna flip that over now. Put that back down. I'm going to tape it to the paper. Okay, put that back over. Not sure where the best place to put it is, but we're gonna, we're gonna go for 30 seconds. See how this goes. And then we're gonna go inside after this cools down, and we are going to put our badge buddy together and our badge reel. And it's gonna be so cute. Um, we gotta let it cool down so we can wash it. And um that's why you want to make sure that you put it under something. That one I just finished that I didn't put underneath the heavy block is already bowing because I didn't try to make it um, not. And here we go. 30. Pull up the corner. It still doesn't look quite, so we're going to do another 10 seconds. I'm going to turn it to just see if that helps. Do another 10, just like we just did on the other one. And if it does mess up or not, at least I have the other side looks good. So yeah, I think that was better. There we go, look how pretty. Such a pretty color. Okay. It does have a lot of that paper residue. Again, just want to get that down quickly and under something super heavy. Um, I know some people have used like an old, an old press maybe and put it between them. I can't figure out where I put my old press. It's around here somewhere, the one that broke. But I'm thinking I'm going to get one of those big grill pressers for hamburgers. And that way I have that out here that's a little more um, heavy. It's got more weight to it to try and help with that. So we're going to let this cool. We're going to take them inside. We're going to wash them with warm soapy water with some just some Dawn dishwash. And then I'm going to show you how to put all of these together. So, all right. Right now we are going to put our badge buddy and badge reel together. You're going to want some E6000. I use the clear transparent kind. And you're going to need some badge reels. I get mine from Zindi. And I have two different versions. I have one that's like a alligator clip. And one that is like it slides on. And both of them I think are good for like, I don't remember how many poles, 2,000. 200 I don't remember I'm gonna to have to look that up but I'll link it down below so they they come with the badge reels come with the clip already available some people will fill in this little spot here with like a little bit of glitter epoxy to make it look cute or match whatever color I'm not gonna do that now because again I'm trying to not use epoxy or resin anymore so I don't do this any kind of fancy way I'm actually kind of a weirdo I use this paper clip for my E6000 because I did not get the kind that comes with the tip on it. If there is a kind that has like a tip where you can use it as like a, you know, a little, I would definitely get that because this stuff gets kind of ooey gooey, which is why I have a mat here. So I have this little paper clip that I've just been using over and over and over anytime I need to use my E6000 and I use it to help get some of it off and then spread it around so I'm not trying to put this big clump on there. So the badge reel, my circle or whatever shape you decide to sublimate is going to go on the round part. You'll see that it's not going to fit exactly. It's gonna be an overhang. So I would not recommend putting your E6000 on your acrylic. I would put it on your badge reel. Now I'm going to use the, the alligator clip one. That's the one that I would like to use for mine personally. You can use either one that you decide that you want. 
I might be okay with this because I want enough of it that I can kind of go around without having, and then I can use my, my paper clip. Again, I'm not super fancy on this. There we go. At least that got rid of that big clump that was there. I'm gonna put this back on it so it doesn't leak at all. And then I'm just gonna use my paper clip to kinda spread this around a little bit. Make sure it's in all the sections. Not too much so it doesn't go past where it's supposed to. Normally I have a little piece of paper sitting here, but I forgot to grab one. There we go, get that over there. I know I'm super fancy with my paper clip, please don't judge me. Maybe you have a different type of hack that you can use. And then you just wanna make sure that whichever way you're gonna put it, that you get that ready to go. I'm actually gonna do it down, and then I'm going to put my clip on it to make sure I can line it up. And then I forgot to get my clips. I'm going to use some binder clips. I think I've got some that are large enough. So give me just a second. Oh, and then I wasn't paying attention. I got some of that on here. It will dry clear though, so I'm not super worried about it. This is the back, but I can take some of that off just with my little paper clip. Love that paper clip. Okay, so I'm, I found my clips and I'm just going to binder clip this together while it dries. Just be careful, it is kind of moving around, but I'm just going to binder clip that and then I'm going to go around a little bit of the edge and just get some of that excess off. Again, that's the back, so I'm not super concerned about that. Maybe I'll be better about putting it in the center next time and making it a little more pretty. I'm just going to use my handy dandy paper clip here just to kind of wipe some of that off and I could use a like a little razor blade after to kind of clean it up so we're gonna let that dry so that's gonna end up being my front and then I will I'm gonna take off my badge right now I just have it on one of these I didn't really like this kind of clip that's why I chose for mine to be the alligator clip so I can clip it on a lot easier to some of my other Items. So I'm just going to take that off my little clip here and then I'm going to put, oh, and this comes a little bit low. So next time anybody who's like me that has a school badge, it may come a little, a little lower. They do have extended version ones, but to me, I think that would be way too low. So we're going to just go with this one. And I think I'm going to put them in this way. And you just put your badge on top. And if I could clip it together, ha, and you clip it together. And then there you go. You've got your little badge buddy that is all pretty designed and it can have your title on it. There's all different types of jobs that you can use these for, whether it's in the medical field, there's tons of different titles that you might have. The education field, we have tons of different titles or teams or things like that. And you could just make it really cute. You could even do them as customized for different seasons. So like a holiday themed one as we get closer to Christmas or like summer themed one. And maybe I've got like watermelons or lemon slices, whatever. You could do a fall theme like with sunflowers, something like that. So all different ways you can use it. Obviously I still have this clipped. I will probably keep this clipped for like a day or so. And then I'll show you what it looks like when I when I go to take it off and then I'll just clip it back. Ugh. So it'll end up looking like this. So cute. And now I have it to match and I picked this color scheme. This is a, this purple and gold design is something I have in my office. I have some photos that are up on my wall that have that design. I have a cup that has that design that I use for my coffee every morning. And then I have, I'm in the works of making myself a mouse pad and a clipboard for my office so that it all kind of matches with like that purple and gold theme. So I'm a little extra and I'll probably do me a coaster as well. So that way my office just all ties together along with my awesome little 
badge reel that I'll be able to wear to work. So super excited about that. Uh, again, I have the other side. If I want to switch it over to Dean instead of Student Services Manager, I could do that. And there you go. Makes it super easy. I like the way that you can do it with a sublimation instead of epoxy and glitter. It's not as flashy or as like cute as people might like with the glitter because I'm not using the epoxy or the resin, but it also doesn't make it heavier. Epoxy could make it a little bit heavier and, and weigh it down and you want to be as lightweight as you can. So super excited. Love it. Thank you, Cindy, for making the white version of these. I'm super excited about that. They were only in the clear and now they've got these in the white so that I can order them and supplement on them. So I'm super excited about that. They do have vertical versions. This is the horizontal, the regular version. They have a vertical regular and then they have extended ones. So if you have a longer badge or if you have your badge in a clear like your job requires the clear case over it, you might need the extended one because it'll need to hang a little bit lower. And I may put my design just a tad bit lower, make sure that I start my words a little bit lower. But again, this one's for me. I'm super excited about it. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you can be notified the next time I post a tutorial. Thank you so much for swinging by my channel. Bye. Thank you.